Chu Valley Lake, well, it's probably, well, it's not probably, it is the greatest pike water that's ever been. It's absolutely a pike factory. I don't know how they keep coming, but from day one, 17 years ago, I fished here first of all, and um, did put a pike then, and today, still doing big pike. Um, in the last couple of weeks, to over 40 pounds. Um, it just must be the perfect environment. And I've experienced some wonderful moments here. I've experienced some bad moments here. It can be a harsh, hold environment. You um, read in the press and hear stories how it's really easy. And on the right day, look, anyone can catch a 30 pound pike. And that is the magic of this place. It has blown up the 30 pound list. Anyone can, if they get a ticket, can catch a 30 pound pike. I first fished Chew way back in October the 16th, 2001. Um, myself and Dave Gawthorne, we, uh, we managed to get a ticket for that day and we came down and uh, our introduction to the lake was incredible. We really didn't have much clue what we were gonna do or where we were gonna go, but um, we went up to Stratford Bay and uh, throughout the day we caught 33 pike of which six of them were 20s and, and Dave had an incredible fish of 32 pounds. That really started a love affair with Chew Valley and uh, I've been coming back every year since then. A 30 pound away from Chew is absolutely incredible. The dodo, gold dust. Um, here, um, don't get me wrong, it's not easy. It can chew you up and spit you out. I've been here many times. The wind's got up, smashing into me, and you think, what am I doing here? But you know, if that indicator drops off or the float goes under when you're out on the boat, oh my God, you just don't know. If you strike and the rod goes over and it feels like a sizable fish, your legs go, your heart pounds, and that's what you're coming to chew for. You're coming for that magic. It's produced my biggest ever pike. 36 pounds. Um, it was so bad, the wind, you couldn't cast out to the distance I needed, and I couldn't put a bait boat out. And I just waited on the spot, and there was a lull for 10 minutes. I got the boat out there, managed to drop the smelt down the side of a bar on the north shore, a spit that runs out. A few minutes later, it was away. 36 pounds. I was with my old mate, Theo, and what a moment. Look at that. Oh, would you believe it? 45 mile an hour gusts. Just a bit of a big boat over here. Five minutes. A wallop. This little beast. Well, Mr. Bowler's got this little beast. 36 pounds. Yep, 36 pounds on the nail. What an incredible fish. Incredible. Look at that. There she goes. There she goes. 36 pounds of Chew's finest. She's away. She's gone. Mr. Bowler. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> all of those, those days, all of that effort was just so worthwhile. And that's why you come to Chew. And that's why there's 60 people fishing today, 20 on the bank, 40 on the boats and they've all got the same dreams. And you know what? It's hard today, but someone today, their dream is gonna come true. And that's what's special about you. In recent years, I've been fishing the lake with, with Martin off the bank because my old back ailment is doing me. But uh, I struggle again to uh, deal with fish in the boat and everything nowadays. So uh, we've been fishing the bank. And um, in all that time, it's funny, I've, I've netted 30 pound pipe and uh, I've had quite a lot of 20s myself, but that elusive 30 had never ever graced my net. And um, I started to think that maybe it was never gonna happen. My old mate Theo, like me, he fished the first ever week of the first ever trial um, 17 years ago. And he's seen so many people catch fish of a lifetime. And not for anything he's doing, he's just had a really, well, an unlucky run, a 17 year run where, you know, people come here for a 30 pound pike and he's had 20s and he'd never got a 30. 
He was there when I've netted a 34 for me, a 36, um, you know, and he's always taken it in good spirit. I've never sensed once when someone else has caught a big fish that he's ever been down. He, he's celebrating with him, he's up, and uh, when would it be Theo's time? And um, 2018's come round and the trials, and th there's a place on the North Shore where uh, a spit juts out, it's underwater, and that's where I've caught a few big fish. And um, we agreed this time, if we could get in there, um, Theo was gonna go down the side of the spit with his bait, and it just had to happen, just had to. Martin and I turned up and we got a favorable peg, and I was thinking to myself, well, is this ever gonna happen? Went out there, took the bait boat out there, and um, dropped a smelt, which I always find is the best bait on chew. And um, yeah, not long after, Rod went away, and it seems so easy when it happens, but when it's not happening, it takes years. Um, but it went away, and do you know what? As soon as he struck, I said, you've got it, boy, you've got it. This time I wound down, and I whooped the rod up above my head, and everything went solid, and it was then that I knew there was a big fish on the end and uh, I gingerly played it in. This big old back come up, we could put a saddle across it, it was huge it looked, and um, we knew it just swimming up and down in front of us. So it went in the net and Martin looked up at me with his thumbs up and a big grin, he said, I think it's the one mate, and it proved to be because at last, after 17 years of fishing this lake, I, uh, I at last had my big one at 32.8. I couldn't tell you how ecstatic I felt. It was absolutely incredible. After all these years, how many years has that been? Well, 17. Tom, man. 17 years. Couldn't happen to a better Welshman. Oh, fuck. Hey, well done, Fee. And a lot of years of watching others catch, you know? Well done, mate. Look at that. Right. That's my ass. Uh, Magnificent, well done mate. Just a great moment and I think as time goes on, as your angling career develops, you realise that you can have your own magic moments but there's a lot of special ones you can enjoy with other people and I couldn't think a man more deserving on the whole of Chew than um, Theo to catch a 30. And to get that 32, that just shows effort always equals reward. 32 and a half pound of Chew's finest. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Chew Valley Lakes, a place where pike dreams can and do come true.